This is the copper zone and we are on the Lucky Strike property. We have a ditch here that was dug out. All the material is placed here. We've pulled samples from here. We've done a drill hole, the backpack drill there, intercepted some nice copper. You have veins running this way up to about 30 centimeters thick, quartz veins with massive calco pyrite, minor pyrite. And what we're gonna do is, now that we've had a fresh rainfall and we can see the bedrock, all the dust is washed off, we're gonna find some samples in the bedrock, find some samples in the ditch, find some samples along here. So the first one we found was right here. Take a look at this. Very, very nice looking calcopyrite. This is the other half here. Another sample here. Some malachite staining there. Second sample here. This was from bedrock down in there. You can see the malachite staining the calcopyrite so some very very nice looking samples this is also from bedrock down there So in the middle of the road here, you can see how it's been widened. In here, we dug a bunch of test pits down and we found very similar material to this. Massive sulfides all along here. And this is where there's a 10 meter by one and a half meter block of massive sulfides. You have veins running across it right there. And that's the only thing that's exposed now because the ditch is actually the bedrock layer and the road has been built up about a meter here. Some more samples here from down in here. Coarse pyrite, a little bit of calcopyrite. Another sample here. You can see there's a little stringer cutting through that. Calcopyrite. There's just lots of loose samples all over the place. And it's very hard to see when this is dusty, so getting a good look after it's rained you find a lot. Another sample here. Justin number two just tossed at me. Another sample with mineralization. This is a piece I just broke off the end. Patchy calcopyrite. Justin number two is digging off bedrock here. See where all this black is? This is where you find 
a lot of the mineralization where the black and the rust or oxidation is. Here's a couple that he just pulled off. See all the green everywhere from your oxidation of copper. As you can see, there's copper sulfides in there. Final samples here. And this is the final sample here. So those are the samples. And this is the copper zone mineralization extending about 15 meters wide from the telephone pole to where I'm standing. Definitely worth doing more exploring here. It'd be nice to have the water erode all this material that's sloughed down. And maybe when they grade the road next, they'll expose some more stuff for us. That's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.